Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. Before he became a standout center for the Montreal Canadiens, Nick Suzuki was just a kid growing up in London, Ontario. Nick was very competitive. He, he, he would cry when he lost at checkers. <laughs> Yeah. But I would never let him win, so he had to, <laughs> he had to earn, earn it to beat me. His younger brother, Ryan, provided constant competition from an early age. We had a great relationship. Um, I'd say uh, anything that we uh, were up to is uh, kind of got pretty competitive. We had one fatal incident, well, not fatal incident, but we did have one little incident where Nick did a little bit of a cross check to Ryan, and which required stitches, but after that, it was pretty good. I guess he somewhat hit me from behind, and I think it might have been a five-minute major, so cut me open a little bit. I still have the scar. Would you say they put a lot of pressure on you when it came to hockey? No, uh, not at all. It's a big belief of my dad that he didn't want to pressure us uh, in anything. Even after bad games uh, or good games, he was uh, the same, just su supporting us, and uh, I think that really helped um, us find our own love for the game. Vegas Golden Knights are pleased to select from all sound Nick Suzuki. 2017 was Nick's draft year, where he claimed the honor of being one of the first players selected by the Vegas Golden Knights. I think I grabbed Nick's knee, and I'm like, I think that was your name. All I could hear was Owen Sound, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's that's Nick. I think uh, right when I heard his name, it was uh, one of the most exciting times in my life, and um, because I've watched him you know, throughout his whole hockey career, and uh, I was just really proud of him. In 2018, Nick was traded to the Montreal Canadiens. During last year's playoffs, he cemented his role as an offensive threat down the middle for the Habs. If you walk around and your name is Suzuki, you are identified as Japanese. Yeah. Do you think yeah. that, that he experiences that? Just maybe a little bit now starting to understand the, the heritage and culture of his name. My grandparents were born in, in BC, and my father was as well. We just think of ourselves as Canadian first with a Japanese background. Yep. And then uh, we haven't got Nick into a kilt yet, but yes. he's half Scottish. He's half Scottish. He, he, he received the <laughs> kilt when he was born, uh, but he never wore it. Nope. Last season, a Japanese team made a detour to visit Nick. I know you had the chance to meet with a team that was off to the Quebec Pee Wee tournament last year. What was that experience like? Yeah, um, they uh, they were a lot of fun to be around. I think only one of the kids spoke any English, but you could just tell that the kids were really excited to see me, excited to be at the Bell Center. You could see that they just loved hockey and um, just for them to see my last name out there, that's something that they can relate to. And uh, it, was a, it was a pleasure meeting the coaching staff and all the kids. And, yeah, it's something that I'll never forget for sure. Drew Wang going to the net, hands it off, Suzuki scores! Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store.